Hi there, I'm Mike. And I'm Chris. Today we're going to have a look at the 3018 CNC from Banggood. It has a 34 by 16 cm work area with a height of 4 cm. The frame is created from most extruded aluminum and a few 3D printed parts. It has three 12 volt stepper motors for controlling the X, Y and Z axis. The spindle motor is a model 775 and is capable of 9000 RPM at 36 volts and about 7000 RPM with a supplied 24 volt power supply. An Arduino Nano compatible board loaded with Gerbil is the brains of the CNC. On the controller board you'll find a jumper if you want to use a laser and also pin headers if you want to connect end stops or probe the height of the board. The drivers and the Gerbil software you need to run the CNC can be downloaded from the product page on Banggood. Now if you're new to CNCs you might be wondering what these specifications mean in real life and if the CNC is worth buying. If you stick around we'll do our best to answer this question. We have been using the CNC actively for a few weeks now but this is not our first CNC. A few years back we built a much bigger CNC with stronger stepper motors and a stronger spindle motor. Compared to the 3018 it has about 10 times the work area and is both stronger and faster. So why did we buy a new one when we already had a perfectly good CNC? To answer that we need to have a look at our use cases. We are makers and don't use a CNC for mass production. Typically we need to make boxes and special parts from plywood or acrylics. And every now and then we also sneak a piece of aluminum on the CNC for engraving and cutting. Another common thing we do is also to make PCBs. If you want to learn how to mill PCBs and pro the board to create a height map, click on the card at the top of the video or the link in the description. We'll post it there once it's done. And we also cut special pieces that are just faster to mill than it is to 3D print. In over 90% of the cases we use aluminum and softer materials, where the individual parts are smaller than the work area of the 3018 CNC. So for us this little CNC is able to handle most of the cuts we need to make and it's small enough so that it can keep it in the office. Having the CNC in a different room means that it's harder to keep an eye on it and in general it's just more of a hassle to use it. The 3018 might be a bit slower but it does the job and does it well enough for us. So we can definitely say that for us the CNC is worth buying. We just need to build a box around it so that the dust will not fly all over the office. And this CNC is upgradable. If you want to use it with a stronger spindle motor or a laser you can just pick one up. You can find parts on Banggood and download models of the mounts over at thingiverse.com. Let's sum up the pros and cons Mike. Sure Chris, the price point is definitely a nice pro. And additionally it has a tiny footprint that allows you to keep it close to your workstation. It's upgradable, replacement parts are easily available and it runs on the free to use Gerbil. When it comes to the cons there's no getting away from the size. If you need to make bigger parts there's no easy way to expand the work area. The spindle motor could be stronger although you can upgrade it and it does not come with end stops. So all in all, given our use case, this CNC has been a great buy. If you found this video helpful, remember to like, subscribe and share this video with your friends. It really helps the channel. Thank you. Hope, Hope to, see to see you, you next time. time.